Here's how you can install and use Clam AV and Clam TK on your Linux PCs. To be honest, uh, you do, Linux very rarely get viruses, but Clam AV scans for Linux and Windows viruses. But I don't use it to scan for Linux viruses, I only use them to search for Windows viruses. And I only, this is how I use it basically, if somebody brings me a USB drive, I scan it because I might not get affected with it. But the data I copy from it and copy to a different Windows PC, they might, might get affected. So I rather be safe than sorry. So I use it a lot. Not a lot, but I use it anyway. Let's install Claim AV first, the command line utility, command line version, and then let's install Claim, claim TK. That basically is claim a with a front end with a GUI. Okay, let's begin. To install it, we can either use terminal or or software center. Because I want to make it as simple as possible, I'm gonna use software center. To and let's search claim a V in software center. As you can see, it shows us this and let's install it but if you run this command in terminal you'll install it as well okay basically what uh, what ubuntu software center is a gui for this for terminal okay let's install it from uh, Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, let's install it. Enter our password. Let's install it. <laughs> okay, and I'll be testing these with these bogus viruses. I found them from I I made these viruses or downloaded it from this page. They're bogus viruses and I'm gonna show you how they work. Okay, let's close this and I'll link this to uh, useful links that contain how to use your Clam AV antivirus. Okay, there's a main page and uh, this Ask Ubuntu, Ask Ubuntu uh, question reply. Great. Okay, did it install it? Yes, it did. Okay, now let's first thing we need to do is to start terminal. We can close this, I'll minimize it for now, and we need to update our database. We need to update our claim antivirus database. Okay, for this, you should do this type sudo claim av or not claim fresh clam and press enter enter your parser and it will download the updated database you can see this yep here this this is a comment you should update it and and update gets you database up gets updated from time to time so you should update it frequently or databases that uh, database of viruses so you know how often viruses get new viruses get created so as you know how frequently they get updated you should frequently update this database as well okay it downloaded our database great now for scanning the files first thing I'm gonna do is scan this folder or this file this focus virus for that you should type clam scan and let's scan this okay as you can see it's gonna start the scan and it told me that there is a one virus okay and this is what happened to me and you can see it didn't delete it this is what happened to me I, when I first started using Linux, I found a claim antivirus, and one of my Windows PCs had a virus. The virus was so bad that the PC wouldn't boot. 
so I created a USB drive with clam on it clam antivirus on it and I scanned the whole HDD my Windows HDD I found multiple viruses but I found them but I didn't delete them so yeah this is I'm gonna show you this is clam scan only this basic comment only tells you about the viruses but it doesn't delete them so I'm gonna show you how you sh should delete or move them to a separate folder okay for example let's create a folder let's call them virus and our virus the fi files is gonna find that our virus has viruses on them it's gonna move it to this folder I'm gonna show you how you're gonna do it okay type clam scan move let me minus minus move equals to this folder type minus r this means that it should scan folders and subfolders and let's scan this let's press enter I have the, this virus I copied this virus to here as well and a lot of files there are just files to show you that what it does as you can see it started the scan and it told me it found one virus out of 83 and let's see this folder as you can see it moved it to here if you want to and this is if you want to just delete it you're gonna do this clam scan remove and let's tell the clam scan to show us only uh, only infected files it will not not show the theory scan file it will only show you uh, the only infected files it won't do this okay 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 it only show will show you that there is a one file and it's affected okay let's do an R here and let's put it here and you can see that it will just remove this virus as you can see it told that, that there is a virus here and I'm gonna delete it let's enter this as you can see it deleted it okay so it's as hard as clam scan goes and I, I again I'm gonna provide you with these links and you'll see how easy it is to use okay now let's start using clam AV clam clam TK clam TK for me it's worse much worse it's it's worse than clam AV it's, it's a front end from clam AV but it's a bad one okay let's remove this you can have both okay we removed it let's search clam tk tk in our software center or information and let's install the newer version because the older version basically is the same thing but it's uglier let's install it the newer version But why do I don't like the clam TK? Well, basically, uh, it should automatically update itself. The automatic update, the update it should have downloaded was 100 megabytes. It took it one hour or more to download that update. It was downloading with bytes or something, I don't know. So, okay, it downloads our clam TK. Let's search for clam TK. And let's open it we don't need this let's close this let's close this and let's check the update let's double click on this let's press ok it will check for updates and it told us that there is an update we don't care about graphical interface this is something that you shouldn't care about you should care about this signature signature is a claim AV's database virus database now it's automatically updating itself because it's set to automatically update 
how do you know that it's automatically updating itself? Well, if you open your home directory, press Ctrl H, scroll down and find Clam TK. Where is it? Clam, 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 Clam TK. You can say that, see that it should be automatically updating itself if it decides to. So that's why I don't like Clam. I don't like well, Clam TK and the Windows. Hopefully it will start the update. Okay, but we can force it to update itself. Close this. Open your terminal and press sudo fresh clamp and it will update its database. So you and if you have clamp TK you might be uh, you have to run fresh fresh clam command from terminal anyway it will start the update as you can see it's finished let's open our claim tk we don't need this. Let's see the update. As you can see, it told us that okay, you, now you have an updated database. Okay, and again, don't care about this. This is nothing. This is how this looks. This GUI, which basically doesn't mean anything, and we only care about this. Okay, go back and let's press settings, double click on them. And let's scan this, scan this, this, this. Let's have everything selected. Now let's scan a file, this file. Double click on here. And let's select our file. If this gets stuck, press Alt on here and click. Lift click. Okay, as you can see, it found our virus, and we can either quarantine it, delete it, or ask it to analyze. Let's ask it to analyze. Okay, and let's search. As you can see, it told us that this is something, yeah. Not a virus, not a virus antivirus test file test file now okay it's what other antivirus software think about this file is now uh, it's a good feature isn't it let's close this and let's delete it we don't need this okay deleted okay as you can see it deleted it let's scan this folder now because we deleted a virus from here if you remember let's scan it scan a directory double click on it remember Okay, let's scan a directory. Okay, no, let's scan this. Okay, and as you can see, it started the scan. Okay, let's delete this. Anyway, as you can see, this is as advanced as. Oh, Claim AV and claim TK antiviruses, virus scanners, not antiviruses, virus scanners are. I think they are great and I hope this video was helpful. Okay, please comment, like, and subscribe.